Hi, my name is Mrs. Lalonde. I teach AP Government here at Kasumna Soaks High School. So just to tell you a little bit about the courses. If you sign up for AP Comparative Government and American Government, you are signing up for two separate AP classes. In the fall term, you take American Government, nine weeks. It's an entire textbook, and it's one AP exam that you could pass for college credit. In American Government, we'll look at constitutional foundations of our government, a little bit of history, look at the difference between civil liberties, civil rights, a lot of Supreme Court cases that have set constitutional precedents and judicial precedents. Then we'll get into the policymaking institutions, you know, president, Congress, the court system. We'll also look at linkage institutions, the institutions in our society that connect us to the policymaking institutions, like the media or elections. At the very end, we'll get to some policy issues, national security, environment, energy. It's an extremely intriguing class, especially if you're interested in anything policy oriented. That doesn't mean you want to go into a career to be a senator, but anything policy oriented as far as, as, as business or an advocate of something. In addition to that, in the spring you'd be taking comparative government, different textbook, different AP exam, an additional opportunity for college credit if you pass the exam. Comparative government starts off with some basic political science and some concepts, and then we go into th six different case studies. China, Mexico, Nigeria, a few others, and look at their systems. What are their elections like? What are their policy-making institutions like? Do they have a president, parliamentary system, a semi-presidential system? Do they have single-member districts, multi-member districts? So just really comparing the different regimes around the world. It's extremely intriguing. You get a first-hand look at some governments that most students won't be able to study, like Mexico. What's the Mexican government look like compared to the U.S. presidential system? What are the similarities between our presidential systems? So both very intriguing courses. They do take a dedicated amount of time out of class to keep up with the workload and the reading. Um, however, I think they will definitely pay off with civic-minded individuals who want to know more about the world around them. If you have questions, I'm in H and 7, and again, my name is Mrs. Lalonde.